Hi all, Mass Barncup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today is the 31st of March. We are on our 20th day of isolation. And when we're talking about isolation, that's also the topic of today, which is insulators. And uh, besides that, we can just give a little status on another project that I'm building with my daughter April, which is a robot cat. And this is how far we have got so far. It's a very advanced project, but um, we will eventually get there. More of that later, and we are making a video of that as well. So now on to the insulators. Insulators of different kind are usually used for yeah, insulating high voltage of what you have it mounted on or what you are producing the high voltage from. That's kind of obvious from the name. So here I have some different types, something that primarily comes from household supply, uh, again this from a distribution transformer, and I have these um, hanging high voltage wire standoffs from um, electric trains. At least I think they come from uh, something like uh, air wires. Now if we start out with the uh, household, we have the normal pole mounted uh, ceramic insulators here. These are very classic and you actually do not see them many places anymore. Where you have a free hanging copper wire going around here and you have a, your metal rod that mounts to the pole here. And it is then insulated from the pole itself, which is often made out of wood or steel. Now these are used at 400 volt AC. And the same goes for the different feed throughs. I think these comes from uh, maybe uh, houses that the wire goes in through the uh, feed through here and on the inside you can connect the wire here and you have a, uh, the outgoing or the other wire sitting here at these two clamps. Then there is uh, the small fuse blocks here. Now this just connects uh, on the way into houses normally or to uh, lamps, you have uh, street lamps and you have a piece of wire sitting across this you might have one where the wire is still intact oh, I have one where, where it's blown so as you can see it's just a piece of metal wire going across it and that's the fuse. Another insulating uh, part here seems to be part of a clamp and this could be some kind of wall mount and then you can connect up and have something going across here. Now a lot of different other clamps come here you can connect two wires together Again, another type of two-wire clamping, another side-by-side -side type clamp here. And a fourth version of it. Again, connect two wires. It says you can mount 25 to 35 square millimeter wires in this. Some of the most uh, interesting uh, clamps here are actually these uh, hook clamps. As you can use these when you are working on live wires and you need to bridge over um, or ground a uh, wire. That you uh, mount a wire into this little uh, clamp here. And then with a long pole you can uh, turn this around. You can hook it up here, grab another wire. Turn it around until you uh, are connected and you have either grounded air wire or you have yeah, ma made a loop, loop uh, crossing around while you work on some part of the system. The two large ceramic feed throughs here, they come from a 10 kilovolt distribution transformer. I can see it has some phenolic uh, discs sitting here and then it have a brass rod that goes all the way through up to the other end here where it has a sideways connector. But other than that, it has the large, yeah, I think it's an M12 uh, connector or M10. 
at the top here. But it's a good long connector that comes with some mounting hardware sitting down around the shroud here. And that's just a nice good piece of ceramic that I will use for some of my high voltage transformers and then maybe for some display uh, mount them something like this and maybe a Jacob's ladder, something in that way. Now I actually used to have three of these but I gave one of them away to a collector. It was my idea to make a three-legged platform that I can use for Tesla coils uh, performance and, and such but I will just build something out of some other materials. But these are what you see air wires hanging in when you're speaking about the is it 10, 10 kilovolt or maybe 30, 40 kilovolt supply lines for uh, trains. It's uh, stamped EgoTech 92 on it. Now these are decommissioned and was thrown out when I found them. So uh, nothing uh, special about them. I'm not even sure they're used anymore, that they are simply uh, too old. We can see the end pieces here are simply just clamped onto a piece of plastic. So I'm not sure what the tensile strength is in this, but I'm sure it can withhold carrying uh, some hundred kilograms at least. But this was my collection of the more exotic insulators. So until next time, see ya.